Hey everybody, it's more World of Tanks with me, Briggs. Hope you enjoyed the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, it's worth checking out because it makes this one then makes a little bit more sense. So, I have just got the big gun on the old RHM. I've loaded with 100. What was it? There we go. 150 millimeters um, of eight, 22 APCR. No, it's not APCR. Is it? It's just. It's just. No, it's APCR. High explosives. Uh, uh, I've got six of those, and I've got two of the gold rounds, the uh, Hesh uh, heat tank, heat shots, whatever. Anyway, this is a defense map, or an assault. I like to call them defenses because most of the time I play this game, I'm almost certainly on defense. It just always seems to be the way. But I've got a chance now in a very decent matchmaking um, ma uh, battle. I can now use this weapon the only difference with this weapon and well there's many differences come to think of it between this weapon and the weapon we saw on the RHM in the previous video is that this weapon is like 20 22 millimeters bigger in caliber size it does less penetration though it only does 212 penetration but it does 260 more average damage than the other weapon the 128 millimeters problem is though as you may notice it takes a little bit longer to reload in this instance it takes a hundred uh, no, hundred what am I talking about hundred seconds that'll be a long time it takes about 18 seconds to reload so that's quite a long time it does mean that you're you have to maneuver very well and you have to make sure that you're in the right place at the right time and hopefully your camouflage will do its work like we may see in this video but that 700 average damage, 750 average damage, will almost certainly allow you to kill vehicles, especially the lowest tier 6s and the tier 7s, possibly. Um, you may be able to get quite a few one-shot kills, especially if you're lucky, lucky enough to hit a tank with an HE round that does a little bit more than 750. You may almost certainly get a nice ammo rack or a nice little explosion of the tank that had less health than the, either, than the round you sent to it. This is a very much a reaper weapon, what I like to call reaper weapons because you can you can easily rack up three or four kills in a, in a map or in a battle of one shot kills which I really like. Now at the moment you can al already see something happening here. Um, on the right hand side of the map or the zero line you'll notice that there are quite a few tanks that are dangerously close to overrunning that side. While this is happening, I take a nice little shot at the Jag, the Jag Panther, and I do 814 damage. That's nearly enough to destroy it in one. The Nemesis here of 88, I have to penetrate in the right position, otherwise I'm not going to do anything, or I'm going to completely miss, like that. I have to make sure that I do damage here because the more damage I can do the better it will become now I can't for some reason I've selected HE for this because I was trying to shoot at the AT-15 unfortunately for me the Drag Panther 2 comes down and I get a 400 hit which isn't too bad with HE especially with an armored target who's got what about an 80 millimeter front armor so I was never gonna pen that with the HE now you'll notice something about this um, weapon is that it, it has a bit of a, a, a drop in the shell so when you fire it it actually drops quite heavily and so this is something that you have to take into consideration this shell will have to take time to travel to the person that you're trying to shoot so you've got to make sure that when you fire it that when you fire it The tank is is where you hope that the shell's going to land. Now that was a very nice little chafey kill there because I killed him in one shot. I could have done that with HE. Doesn't matter, I'm loaded because it takes 18 seconds. I'm not going to fret over the wrong type of ammunition. I'm going to use it and get on with it. So 1650 damage, one kill. Things aren't looking too great on the right hand side, the zero line. They're looking a lot better than they were, but they're still not fantastic. You've still got the T-29 over there. You've also, I think, got the Cromwell, I think, is the other tank over there. They're going to do a little bit of damage against those guys over there, but generally, 
we're starting to notice a little bit of a a nice little pattern here where things aren't going great anymore especially the fact that the Ferdinand and the GW Panther have just taken two of our guys out luckily for me the Firefly decides to do exactly what I hoped he was gonna do and that was to somehow turn side on to the um, area that I was looking in and I managed to get a really decent hit so that's another kill that's another one shot kill which means I'm on two now one more and I get a little Reaper thing but I'm not really going for that all, all I'm worried about now is that that zero line falling and I'm thinking to myself actually we need to turn around here don't we you guys can go up ahead and figure out what's going on over there I might turn around in a minute and have a look at this Ferdinand and this Cromwell because those are the two that are closer to our cap and the 4043 is calling for, for help which is um, understandable and I'm going to oblige I'm going to move out we'll see what we can do now you can do one of two things in this tank because it's quite a low tank you can sit behind a lower hill than a normal tank would be able to you can shoot over the top of it but if you can find some bushes and you're far enough away you can sit in a bush and, and snipe across these things it's a very decent sniping tank as long as you get the right shot at the right time now the Cromwell comes into view here I've got to shoot ahead of where he's gonna be it is your destiny. that's um, that's a that's number three which means that's a Reaper that's a Reaper ribbon straight away it's not gonna get to my um, the top it's not gonna get to the top of my um, good old uh, personal best when it comes to Reaper but we'll see what we can do so I'm gonna sit in this bush I'm gonna put my binox on I'm gonna see if we can search and find this Ferdinand this Ferdinand is almost certainly gonna have to cap because there's only three minutes left I don't think he's gonna be able to find us all the only problem is is our Sherman Jumbo who's just about to get killed right now has left us in a bit of a state because the T25 has now got the opportunity to come from the south from the three fall sort of line and come up behind us and give us a little bit more of a problem because the Ferdinand is almost certainly going to come around that corner at some point and he's going to give me a little bit of trouble and the T25 could even add to that trouble so I, we've got to be very careful because the FE 304 is not going to stay where he is. He's not going to light him up for us. He's going to move to, to behind where I am. And the Tiger, unfortunately, the Tiger is not so great of a player. I'm not going to say he's a shit player, but he's not fantastic. So I'm going to move a little bit forward, get into the bushes a little bit, so I've got a little bit of cover on my right-hand side. The camo should do me some good as long as I don't fire and I'll, or I don't move. If I fire or move my camo becomes pretty much zero and armored 92 Thor in the jumbo that just got killed is all doom and gloom he's not liking the fact that um, we're gonna lose this at least that's what he thinks we're gonna do but I'm sitting on 2870 damage There's four more people on the board and we're just gonna just gonna sit and wait until someone shows up. Now who's going to show up first? Is it going to be the Ferdinand or is it going to be the T25? Well it's the Ferdinand. Stop whining. And I bounce him. And now he, th he, he knows where I am. He can't see me, but he knows where I am. And I'm going to load HE because I know for a fact that my gun is going to be difficult to get through the front armour. And the GW Panthers come to play. The Ferdinand takes a nice little pot shot. But they need both people on that cap. And unfortunately, both people. And I got really strangely unfortunate there. Because my shot actually hit something else. 
Now by hitting something else and killing it, I stopped the, the second cap. Which meant that they were never going to be able to complete the cap. I get into cover, there's 13 seconds left, the game is over pretty much as long as we stay alive. I'm not going to move again, although I'm reloaded. I'm going to wait until the time runs out, which is now. The game is over. So I do 3,896 damage, or th nearly 3,900. And it's very lucky, I think, that we got out of that the way we did. And so comes to an end a very interesting um, RHM battle because this is a, this, remember this is the first time I'd used this weapon. I'd never used this weapon before. I'd used something similar in the the fact that the KV2's got a quite similar weapon except it hasn't got the old um, it hasn't got the old uh, penetration. But it's a very similar weapon and you have to kind of use it as such. You have to wait for it to 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 zoom in on the person to for the whole reticule to go straight in. So it's at its fullest, or at its smallest, at its most accurate, and then take the shot. And you've got to make prepare to miss, because there are some games where you will bounce when you shouldn't bounce. And there'll be some games where you will do just a tiny little bit less damage than you need to do to kill the person, and they can kill you in return. And it's not fun at all. It's not fun at all. But that's what happens in World of Tanks. You get these games where... You just really have no fun at all some days. And some days you have really, really good battles and you enjoy the game. And that's what you keep coming back for. Anyway, that's it for uh, World of Tanks. Thanks very much, everybody, for watching. Um, questions and comments are always welcome. Please do stick them in the comments section below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.